It, but she could have very well been a therapist before and broke in her own way. Right. And I was just in the hospital with him. And maybe he's, as, a, you know, as a patient, still trying to help him through whatever he's going through. And then you know, now they, they just get into you know shenanigans together. But, mm. Shenanigans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, what we'll call, uh, that's what we'll call hitting somebody with a bar stool. Yeah, 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 blowing up a building. Shenanigans. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just like the Olsen twins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, so yeah, that should be the third movie, Joker: College Shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, shenanigans and more. Welcome back to the break room. Hello. Much ado about Joker. Folly ado. The first <laughs> Ooh, trailer nice. for the film is out now. Uh, <laughs> joining me today, today to discuss it are Tom Michelson. Hey guys, how's it? Thanks for having me. Looking forward for some Joker. Woo! And Jordan Morris. Hi everybody. We live in a society. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just want everybody to know we live in a society. And we True. live in New York. Joker's right there. Oh, yeah. that's He's where right the, sta the stairs are actually oh, yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We we moved the the studio today. We are uh -huh. broadcasting live from New York. Yes. As the sunset. We're hardcore uh, fans. So yeah. yeah, yeah, Joker yeah. Fans out there yeah. uh so yeah without further ado mm -hmm. let's watch the trailer um if you uh, if you don't want to watch the trailer don't watch it but <laughs> with us uh and if you're watching on youtube we can't show all of it because of copyright so sorry about that uh let's watch it love these i love that that's such a good line I and know, let's get out of here it's so great classic I feel like every shot of this movie will be like airbrushed onto a van at yeah. some point. Oh. Like, like someone's back tattoo. Oh, guaranteed, Ooh, yeah. Joker. <laughs> <laughs> They're dragging him on the ground. Oh, look at that wide angle lens. His arm is like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's his other classic move. The, oh, the, yeah. The arms that's right. open. Oh, man. Oh, why so, so, why so serious, everybody? What a shot. Why so what serious. A sh first take. I bet they got that on the first take. <laughs> yeah. Damn, <laughs> damn. I know, just like, a it takes a lot to line that kind of stuff up it to does. production. And it's like, they either did it for real or that's just all CG. They're like, just, just do it. Yeah, do we'll it and we'll line it up. Yeah. No, I, I like, bet you it's for real. Yeah, I mean, I am like, I'm pretty hot and cold on that first movie. Like, there's some great things about it. There's mm -hmm. some not great things about it. But yeah. like, that trailer is so well done. Yeah. As far as like the trailers go. Yeah. Like, part of me almost doesn't want to see the movie because I'm like, the trailer probably, <laughs> like, whips its ass. I mean, I am, I am like, in and yes, I will yes. see the movie. But, but th uh, yeah. that's a good, good trailer. Good trailer. Such a good for trailer, sure. yeah. And, and it's funny, that movie's been, it's been so many years now. Mm -hmm. yeah. But within seconds, I'm back in that mood. They've yeah. done yeah. such a good job capturing everything. I mean, yeah, so, I mean, director Todd Phillips, right, he's returning, yeah. he's writing the movie. He wrote the second movie as well. And it does does seem very consistently in the world that it's set up for right. itself. Right. Um, we're uh, yeah, a lot of big names in this too. Besides Joaquin Phoenix and um, Lady Gaga, we have Steve Coogan who showed us mm -hmm. on the trailer. trailer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, Brendan Gleeson, uh, Banshees of Inisherin, wow. uh, you know, one of many one of many best, credits. Yeah. He's uh, <laughs> in this as well. Zazie so Beetz good. potentially returning. Uh, that was you know. So is it interesting? Does that mean it's a flashback, or does that answer some questions about the first one? Right. Yeah. That. Right, that could be really odd. Like, he might go and visit her. Would you? I don't know. Yeah, well, because because if I recall, the first one it was it was left kind of. Well, we weren't sure what was real and what wasn't, and right. he yeah. might have murdered her. Right. Oh yeah. So <laughs> so. If we, right. if we see yeah. her, I have like forgotten a, a lot about that yeah, movie. Yeah. I'm realizing I'm like, oh yeah, right. that happened. Yeah, <laughs> and I think this trailer unlocks so much because it's yeah. getting me back in that mindset. But yeah, I think it, you know, he, I think she died, and mm -hmm. so, or at least that's what they were saying, you know, with this unreliable narrator. So, right. it, yeah, is is if if we see her, it's either going to be a flashback or they're yeah. going to answer some questions about what's real. And totally what's sure, not. and yeah, and it seems like some of the musical numbers will be uh, in in people's heads, and some yes. of them will be in the real world. Right. So yeah, I think this movie will do a lot of what's real and what's not yeah. stuff which yeah. uh which they did so well in the first yeah, one. yeah. for sure yeah. and this looks like, yeah and this looks like a blast and i and you know i think some things you could say about that first one is like it ain't fun it's kind of a bummer <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. so yeah. maybe yeah, this one is gonna add a little bit of fun laughter yeah. i mean obviously it will be still be very dark oh but yeah like, yeah maybe it'll be um it's something one might want to rewatch. As yeah, yeah, watch yeah. Us, and with Harley yeah. in general as a character, is someone who brings a lot of levity to the Joker. Yeah, so there's an opportunity to, as a character with uh -huh. Harley, to actually yeah lighten things up a little. But right. I don't yeah. think it's gonna get too light. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do think that like having um, the uh, wow. 
had a great segue, and I said, you know, guys, we're going to do this, and now I'm going to have to cut it. Uh, uh, think about it. Okay. I've got an observation. Okay. So uh, we were actually talking about uh, talking about the first movie uh-huh. uh, uh, before we started the stream, and, and you know, you you brought up that like the first movie is like you know kind of doing the plot of the King of Comedy, that yes. that great mm. '70s Scorsese movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know this one is a musical, uh, and I do have an insider that told me that it's just Mamma Mia. <laughs> Mama Mia 3. Oh yeah. Yeah. So actually Meryl Streep's in this. Meryl Streep's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Confirmed. Yeah. Confirmed, guys. Confirmed. <laughs> they all go to Greece. They put on linen and they look great. Everybody. <laughs> Who's the father? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Is it real? Is it not? Um, <laughs> I do remember what I was going to say yes. now. Um, so with that first movie where we're not sure what's real and what's not, right? Like right. It seems like the only way to kind of embrace the sequel is to be like, a lot more is just not gonna be real. Like we have sure. to lean yeah. into like if things aren't gonna be real, let's like fully lean into it. And like you can see that on display here with all the colors and everything, and just like even the way I mean I said it during the trailer, but even the way you see his arm when he's doing that classic kind yeah. of thing, the way the lens is capturing his arm f- to feel so stretched out like right, that, it just right. feels so other. Or, or even them cutting like them having an intimate dance and then immediately cutting to them being in the street. And yes, so it's like yeah. immediately we're like jumping back and forth between reality and not mm-hmm. maybe, and, yeah. and they're just probably gonna lean so heavy into that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I think, oh, man, it, it does look cool. I'm very curious. Oh, it, it looks, looks, it looks cool. Cool. Yeah. Good, trailer. Um, Good trailer. So first thing, uh, before I get into the, our question, I realized, I want to ask you guys, what's your mileage on Lady Gaga as an actor? Because I've oh, only really yeah. seen her in A Star is Born, and I liked her in it. I think I have like mixed feelings about the movie overall, but I was like, I think she's like good, you know? Yeah, I always like Lady Gaga's acting. Mm-hmm. I think she's good in A Star is Born. Um, uh, House of Gucci is like a mixed mm-hmm. bag of a movie. Uh, mm-hmm. It has a lot of good stuff in it, and I think she's one of the great things in it. I think she's mm. really funny, like does the campy over the top really well, which I think... Uh, you know, will probably serve her well in this movie. Yeah, um, yeah, 100%. yeah. I, you know, I, I always like her when she does bits on SNL. I do think, yeah. So I'm like Lady Gaga is one of the things like I'm excited about. Yeah, no, I, I, I like her a lot too. I haven't seen Hasaguchi, but um, in uh, in Star is Born, you know, it's one of those where I thought she was fantastic and great. But it's mm-hmm. it's it's how much are you playing yourself? You know, like sure, she's a musician. True, yeah. She's bringing out. She's actually lived a lot of that yeah. type of life, and it's maybe in a more fantastic kind of way. So it's interesting to then get to see her do something which is like a real, real character piece, as yeah. you know, with uh, Joaquin Phoenix and mm-hmm. stuff. So it'll be interesting to see her take on um, that that world, let alone that character. Such an iconic Yeah, and character. a character that's been even made more iconic in recent years with like Margot, Margot Robbie. Robbie's yep. portrayal yep. of it too, right? And yep. how is she going to differ it? And it kind of like in that vein, you know, we see Harley here being, uh, Looks like she's another one of the patients in this. Right, I know yeah, that. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting little flip on the canon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you? What do you think? Like, do you think this movie is like concerned with her being like a therapist, like who's maybe fallen from grace or something, or like do you think it's gonna do any any of the comic backstory that we know? Yeah, I mean, like, like. You know, when I watch the trailer, I do have a tiny angry nerd in my brain. It's like <laughs> she's not a doctor. She's supposed to be Joker's yeah. doctor. She's not, I just stop, I know trailer, in, in Batman the Animated Series, um, and she was you know, and it's like, all right, fucking calm down, brain nerd, like, shut the fuck up. Um, so you know, but I think once you get past that, like this is different than I yeah. recognize it. Like, I think something that DC does really, really well is they like give you a lot of different flavors of their stuff, right? Mm. And they give you a lot of different versions. Like, DC has been playing with multiverse stuff, like, you know, since since the, you know, 80s or whatever. Yeah, Yeah. 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 so it's like, you know, you do have uh, the funny Harley on HBO Max, which is a great show, by the way, Mm -hmm. if you, you, like Harley Quinn, oh my god, watch that show. So, so good. good. Uh, And, you know, and she's got a little bit of a different backstory, and then Margot Robbie has a little bit of a different backstory. So I think it's like, DC does a nice job of, like, assuming we can handle that these are different universes. And I right. really like that about their output. I right. think it's cool, and I think like once you maybe get past the, like, this isn't what I recognize, like, mm. it's a cool idea, like, yeah. what if Harley was in the hospital? And I do love the idea that she used to be a doctor there and maybe went crazy. So, like, that, yeah. Yeah. if that's what they're going for, I think it's neat. Yeah, one of the things that, you know, that especially I look for or that I think about with Harley is that she was, was in a lot of the stories, isn't she the doctor? 
psychiatrist who went crazy from working with the Joker, right, trying yeah. to cure him. Yeah. So in this, obviously, it looks like that's not going to happen. So yeah. maybe, but maybe she could have very well been a therapist before and broken her own way. Right. And I was just in the hospital with him, and maybe as a you know, as a patient, still trying to help him through whatever he's going through, and then. No, now they, they just get into you know shenanigans together, but mm. shenanigans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll call, uh, that's what we'll call hitting somebody with a bar stool. Yeah, 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 blowing up a building. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Yeah. shenanigans. <laughs> just like the Olsen twins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that should be the third movie: Joker, college shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans. Yeah, <laughs> shenanigans and more. Uh, oh, so, but, but as we know in the first movie too, <clears throat> excuse me, they've they've been able to pick and choose what they want and create brand new things. Like yeah. they're not at all concerned about staying with the canon and yeah. being, you know, slaves to the material. So it's it, it'll be great to see a new take on this because that's what this whole thing is. And it's specifically not tied to anything as far as we know. Yeah, yeah. I mean like do you think so obviously DC has, you know, James Gunn's like DCU, mm -hmm. but then there's going to be uh, the Else Worlds projects, which like includes Robert Pat Robert Pattinson's Batman, Matt yeah. Reeves' Batman. This, this Robert, Pattinson, yes. Robert Pattinson. Robert yeah, Pattinson. Yeah. 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 Um, do you think they like try to connect this? Do you think Warner Brothers is like they're like you know what we'll let this one be its own thing, or do you think they're gonna be like, hey Tom Phillips, you're really cool. You marry, you know, <laughs> right. we can open up a portal. Yeah, yeah. Oh my just god. Any, so a portal just, solves anything. Just have Joaquin like have a portal open, have him turn around and look like Nicholas Cage's yeah. <laughs> CG Superman. Oh, oh man. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, I, I think that could have happened, but after seeing what it would look like in the Flash, yeah, where sure. it didn't land, yeah. I don't think James Gunn is gonna roll that dice again. And no. you know, and it would be nice if you know you did want to do crossover stuff. If there yeah. was another explanation other than portals, portals, sure. portals you know, and it's like, yeah. is you know, is and I think at the end of the first Joker movie, you saw like him inspiring other Jokers. Mm -hmm. So, right. Right. do we go into a story where he is the inspiration for the you know Barry Kogan, Keegan, Keegan? Kogan, Kogan, Barry Kogan, that Keegan, Ke e other mm -hmm. other Batman, the guy from yeah, the yeah, other Batman, yeah, exactly. uh, yeah. So yeah, for the whoever the Batman's and Joker is, so yeah. yeah, it's like it'd be a nice way. It'd be kind of cool if they did want to connect these. If there was some way other than. Multiverse portals, but um, yeah, you yeah. know, I you know, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. No, it'd be really cool. I just think that they're not gonna they're not gonna uh, go for doing that just to get fans excited about it. Yeah. You know, they've already they've already got like well, this was already being done before James Gunn even came on board. This joke. That's movie. true. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so you know, this is definitely gonna be its own thing. It was already, and then now that James Gunn is building this universe, I think he'll want to have some time to establish his own footprint. Sure. Yeah, and establish his own DCU film slate before even you know, considering maybe right. tying these things together. And by then, who knows? Maybe we'll have a joke with three. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm surprised that, I'm surprised that uh, um, Joaquin Phoenix came back, to be honest. Like, I know. Yeah. I think there must be something that really interests him about the character and the, about I the mean. the money. I mean, yeah. the character. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're the right, character. Right. No, okay. right. now, the movie only made a billion dollars. So, <laughs> oh, so they have to extra to give him this time. Was. I know. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I do think there is a world where you could see, like, I mean, we don't know the direction that Andy Muschietti is going to take Batman Brave and the Bold. Right. But there is a world that, like, you know, we don't know what that Arkham looks like yet. That could be this Arkham. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will say, you know, like, the Brave and the Bold comics mm -hmm. are, like, a little more light and fun. And I think sure, they're yeah. calling it Brave and the Bold as a little bit of a, yeah. a little bit of a, a signifier. A like, hey, a this isn't going to be, yeah. this isn't going to be the hyper dark one. It mm -hmm. might be a little more fun. Uh, you know, yeah. it's going to be Batman and Damien or a Robin. So mm -hmm. I think that, like, Whatever they're doing in the Gunniverse, yeah, <laughs> it, Gunniverse, it, I, it, it's they seem to be pointing to like it's not going to be as dark as the others. And I just realized because yeah, yeah, if they do if they do a new thing, this will yeah. be the third Gotham we have in a DC movie yeah. set because we have this Joker Gotham, yeah. we'll have the Batonverse Gotham, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. we'll have a potential Brave and the Bold if they're if they're nothing is being connected, which is possible and it's yeah. fine. The audiences are smart enough these days for that to not be an issue. But yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't realize that. So right now they're gonna have so yeah, many Gotham. so many Gotham. So many Bruce Wayne's potentially. Yeah. So many. Also, just realizing right. I called Gotham Arkham before. I'm gonna oh, get. Oh, you're gonna get roasted. Gonna get <laughs> oh no! Oh, when I didn't catch watching. it. Thanks for watching. Actually, no, I did catch it. I was just, I, I was just silently mad at yeah. you. For the, sorry. <laughs> don't worry, guys. I got you. Subscribe. I subscribe. I think to kind of put a pin on that. It could be interesting to use if they were to connect it for any reason, right? right. Let's just say for the Brave and the Bold, that they could use this as the backstory and not have. 
this Joker be the same, like that level of violence, yeah. but just to be like, hey, this is where he came from, and this is what sure. he's going to be. Oh, doing, and this you know? uh, Arthur Fleck verse, uh, mm -hmm. the Joaquin Phoenix one, is in the eighties, right, or seventies? Oh, that's still? true. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. could still have it. You could still say James Gunn could be like, no, this is the same Gotham, right? But yeah. now we're it's you know it's twenty twenty four. Oh yeah, so they yeah. Actually, that way you could have it be completely removed from yeah, that and not right. have to feel like you know you're owed to mention or you that know, would be uh, that to me is like a satisfying way to do yeah, it. It would be like fun and make everything feel a little more connected yeah, without yeah. being like so because right, the joker doesn't even really need an origin so it's fun that they're even sure. doing these movies yeah, so exactly. come brave and the bold when a new joker pops up you don't even need to say by the way he was inspired yeah. by yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, yeah. and lady gaga yeah you yeah, don't need yeah, to do yeah. that I, really actually and i, and I do understand I like yeah. why you want to do joker origin stuff and joker backstory stuff because he's such mm -hmm. a great character yeah. you know and yeah. every and everybody loves him and you want as much you know joker stuff as possible yeah. but like Part of what makes him so cool is the no origin. Yes, Every time yes. they try and do it, it's like not as cool as the one in your head. Yep. Uh, yep. And you know, it's not that, and I'm not saying that people shouldn't try or that. Because right. movie... the first movie was uh, pretty amazing that they were sure. able to even land something. Yeah. As far because I remember hearing about a Joker origin movie and I was like, oh no, this is gonna be yeah, so don't bad. Don't do it. Yeah. yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. But they they you know were tried to hit the smallest of targets and sure. they somehow stuck the landing. So yeah. so I mean yeah you know I give him a lot of credit but I I don't have a lot of confidence it could be done again. And, yeah. In a in a satisfying way and so to yeah. have him just be this yeah. This villain that just kind of comes in like you know, like mm -hmm. a wave of fire and then leaves is, is really fun. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like like yeah. uh, Heath Ledger. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and like uh, you know, uh, hey, The Dark Knight, it's a great movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, but like, Hot take. yeah, exactly. Hot, exactly. Like, not just here and like talk about that <laughs> yeah. for you know too long, but like, you know, the shit where he's telling people different origins is yes. so cool. So That's cool. so yeah. cool. And yeah, yeah uh, and you know, and I think that like these originy things kind of take away some of that cool, but yeah. like. Um, but you know, I understand what Yeah, let's watch the Dark Knight trailer too while we're here. Yeah! Okay. Let's, let's get that <laughs> going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, 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 roll it! Yeah. <laughs> the doors of pizza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Go through every Nolan movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Nolan movie marathon. Oh, yeah. Man, let's do it. Um, all right, so before we get into some of the That's okay on YouTube, right? We can just show a whole yeah, we'll movie. Warner Brothers movie. Whole thing, yeah. yeah. the Oppenheimer cut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we get into some of the musical aspect and the r ratingness yeah. of it all, too, uh, I want to shout out nerdriot.shop. That's where you can pick up some merch to support the channel. Uh, we've got a ton of X-Men-inspired designs. Tom's wearing a classic shirt. We've got this shirt. Oh, nice. also on Jordan's mug. Yeah, yeah. X-Men 97. That Storm shirt. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, and we also have this Xavier That's shirt. Oh, my God. That's wow. great. Great, and you, there's so many cool stuff. So many, so many cool stuff. That's grammatically correct. It's so yeah. much cool stuff. So many, so many, so cool many stuff. stuff. So How much stuff do you want? So many. You have all the stuff, stuff. So many. for you uh, to get. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, picking up some merch is the best way to support the channel. Tons of great designs on there and some break room stuff coming soon. I know an email went out about it and people are like, where is it? It's coming, it's coming soon. Too. There has to be a, an announcement video. Uh, Dashiell knows I was working really hard on it today. You'll see it very, very shortly. Uh, but that's nerdriot.shop. All right, so. And you do a good job with the plugs. You, uh, you know, we, we, we roast you for the, yeah. you, you do a good job. They're hard, <laughs> plugs are hard. Do great, do great. Um, <laughs> all right, so this movie, uh, Joker Folly Adieu, is gonna be R-rated on uh, this <gasps> and its predecessor, uh, with also R-rated. Uh, and as we were saying, like, this is kind of like, you know, the extreme version of like a, the, the, the extremes, rather, of a like dark, grittier kind of like superhero thing, right? This is not right. superhero, but it's a comic book right, IP, right. right? The inclusion of the musical aspect though is interesting. Do you think that this this is gonna move the needle back towards like, I don't know, like maybe a lighter tone, right? Like yeah, movie, yeah. Right? What, how do you guys or think? Or a different kind of movie even, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do, how do you guys feel about yeah. this? Uh, you know, it, it's it's a big swing, and it's a yeah. cool big yes. swing. Mm -hmm. And like, I think uh, something that's that I feel like you you hear about in the movie press recently is the like surprise musical, yes. where yeah. like you bury the musical numbers and you don't show them in the trailer. I think that was the thing with like the Mean Girls reboot, mean Girls. right? Is that it's a musical, yeah. but they didn't show it in the trailer. The uh, Wonka prequel. The Wonka prequel, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah, I think it yeah. is cool that they're saying this is a musical. Right. Here are some of the musical numbers. So I think yeah. that's neat and shows some like courage in their mm. product yeah. um, and you know it's like this the first movie probably has a real hardcore fan base yeah. who might 
not like musicals right. for the, and they're because of their a certain thing. cultural association yeah, or something. Yeah. So yeah, I think it is cool. Less singing, that more like, face bashing. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. For sure. They, maybe they just want face bashing and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. you know, it's it's neat, and I appreciate the swing. Yeah. No, I, I I totally agree. I think it's 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 good to if you're coming back for a sequel to do something new. I mean, sure. that's the biggest the biggest way to fail is to mm-hmm. just do the same thing over again. So coming with a musical is a fun idea, and also with these characters with with. Uh, Again, with them struggling with what's real and what's not, it'll be yeah. really fun to how they incorporate that. And that way, I think you can get away with some of this because if a lot of it's in their head, you uh, you know that you you can say no, like they weren't really singing, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, they probably. they were on the streets, you know, like just uh, acting up and uh, causing a traffic jam or whatever you want to say, <laughs> dancing in the streets yeah, like yeah. crazy. So, like, I think that it's it'll be a fun way for them to to add a new element to the show. And, and mm-hmm. hey, actually, that's probably one of the reasons why Lady Gaga got it because yeah. they want her to sing in this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. am, am I, is, is it true? I heard that it's going to be covers, not original yeah. songs, right? So it's going to be like a jukebox musical, so songs that we already know, which I think tips the scale in its favor when it comes yes. to musicals, right? I think a right. lot of the turnoff for people when it comes to musicals, not for me personally, I'm just talking about the audience, right. general right. audience, is like they don't know what to expect with yeah. like original. It's, songs. And it's hard, to, yeah, with original music. If you yeah. don't, if you don't get it, like mm-hmm. you know, that you're, that you're, the rest of your thing is struggling after that, right? Yeah. If you don't capture the audience with those songs, right? And I, I don't, we don't know right now if Lady Gaga does have an original song in this, or yeah. if there are, are any original songs to begin with. I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't at least one. <laughs> yeah, the Oscars, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. My yeah. Joker face, my, my yes. Joker face. That's what she's gonna do. Oh my god! <laughs> if they don't do that, if they Hold don't on. do that, I'm it was gonna right be there, like very sad. Down, very sad. <laughs> I wanna be like, boo this man. Yeah, boo. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> or when the credits hit, I'll just be in the theater going, my, my, my Joker. Yeah. Whole oh, audience gets up and starts dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Um, oh that's great. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, I mean, Lady Gaga's gonna want an EGOT, huh? This yeah, is how she does it. This is how you it. do oh, it. This is how you EGOT. Yeah. So I, I'll be she really curious. She could maybe get two for the, could she get song and could she get her you Grammy could, and man. her Oscar from the same movie? That would be nuts. Know. Double wow. Oscars, Oscar for song, Oscar for Yeah. Movie. Yeah. Wow. That's true. Yeah, it could. God. That would be wild. That would be nuts. Big well, year for her. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> so. a lot of pressure on this movie and on her, but I'm sure that was another reason why, you know, she'd want to take it as yeah, an artist sure. is to yeah. push herself. But also, it's such a huge, you know, intense movie where you're really doing mm-hmm. a lot of character work. I mean, that's what actors love to do, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, just take yeah. something. And also, like, you know take she... big swings, yeah. take, Exactly, that's what it's going to do. She's just going to be swinging through this. And you <laughs> see... She has a baseball bat. Harley Quinn oh, has yeah, a bat. Yeah, yeah. Yes, literal so, big swings. So taking swings, taking yeah. Swings. Uh, I mean, and yeah, you see Joaquin Phoenix, like, so dedicated to performance again, right? He's being dragged on the floor yeah. in that trailer, and he's well, and just the fact laughing. that he lost all that weight again? Yeah, so... Dang. I mean, one of the best scenes in that first movie, right, is when he's... Do you see his back? And oh. he's just kind of, like, contorting, right? Yeah, he's, like, he's, he's just taking off his shirt or, like, stretching yeah, they put a shirt on or something, but yeah, you the see vertebrae. every bone in yeah. his body. Jeez, oh, chilling. Louise. He's great. Yeah, he's another great. another oh, hot take for the break room. Joaquin <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, good actor. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever see? Um, you were you were never really here. I, you know, I was gonna bring that up. Yeah, I th- wait, wait, I wait, love that, that movie. I know. Yeah, it is a it is a hitman movie where he mm-hmm. plays kind of an eccentric hitman who kills people. Oh, with a this is yeah. the it's one where he great. went on the press tour and everyone thought he went a little off the deep end. Remember? And, I think oh, so. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, but it was maybe. all bits for the movie. Oh, I think this is something else. I think that's oh, his okay. like. I'm a rapper now movie. Oh, I mean, you're, right. Is, oh you're right. Oh, you're right. This is a right, little right. more, and I think this but is no, a great I, movie. But no, I know that. I know the movie. I haven't seen it though. This yeah. movie also, I remember when I saw Joker the first time. I was like, they're just doing. You were never really here. Yeah. I mean, they were really just doing King of Comedy. But sure. I was like, yes, they were yes. They weren't really doing, doing a lot of things. Yeah. You were never really King of Comedy. But yeah, yeah I think this. This <laughs> exactly. is like what a good, what a fun excuse to talk about how good this movie is. And yeah. I think this is the movie when you see Joker. You want to be watching this. Yes. Uh, it's, it's like very a similar. little. Really? Yeah. I'll, I'll it's it's check it out. Yeah. He has like an ailing mother too. He's taking yeah. care of her. And it's like one of the um, stories I remember hearing direct the director, I want to make sure I get her name, Lynn Ramsey, talk about in a DGA podcast was she was like, Yeah, Joaquin came up to me and he was like, Hey, can I try something on the next tape? Uh-huh. And she was like, Yeah, okay, go for it. And the, the scene was him answering a door, opening a door so he could get like, food or like some like it was actually like a handoff or something but he opens the door and he doesn't tell anyone he's gonna do this he opens the door and he punches the other actor oh like, my like just suckers him to because it's like a delivery drive like someone he is like hey you fucked up the job right um, and and so he punches him and lynn ramsey's just like shocked and he, she's like 
Joaquin, why did you do that? Yeah. And I don't remember if the other actor was actually in on it or or I if it was just like emotion God, enough, was. right? Yeah, because too. it's one of those things where it's like, he's so committed, but sometimes it can be a tunnel vision. Sure. It's not yes. Yes. But it you comes across. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> it comes across really great should, on the screen. You shouldn't yeah. punch your coworkers no, you unless punch they your know. Yeah. They yeah. know that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, it was a thing where he had <laughs> it worked out yeah, with the yeah. actor before. But he didn't so, tell yeah. the director. It's very surprising yeah. to her. But yeah, it's like he is <laughs> making these. Like, I just imagine him like they're already rolling. And he opens the door and then uh, he says, "I'm gonna punch you." And the guy yeah. says, what? <laughs> then he goes, Boom! Like, I talk, we talked about it. I told him. I yeah. told him I was going to do it. Honestly, that's probably what yeah. happened. He's yeah. like, yeah. what did you say? Boom! Oh, gosh. Um, all right. So if you have some questions, if you're watching live on Twitch, uh, tag Break Room NR. I yeah, have some cool. questions from earlier, though. Uh, Kobe Wan Kenobi asking, I know Murray is dead. Murray being Robert De Niro's uh, talk show host oh, yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. But do you think we could possibly see him in a hallucination or a flashback? For sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Zazie Beats is table, on the table right? yeah. for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think you want to get all those people back for cameos, well, uh, and you got kind of an easy method to do that. What so. about uh, Mark Maron? Is he? Oh, oh it would be great to see Maron. He, he didn't. Know he he died. didn't. Yeah, I don't think he died. He just was there. But is yeah. he not going to be in this? So. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, I just remembered him right now when we talked yeah. about De Niro. Yeah, um, let's see. I'm not seeing his name on the He IMDb. probably, because he was his manager, is that right? Yeah. So he, like he Barbera's, I mean, his character's probably watching, and after the, the after that show, he's probably like, I don't need to represent this guy anymore. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's what We're happened. Going in a he's all like, you know what? You, yeah, you do you. I'm going to yeah. represent other clients. Let's not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, it's not me. It's you. I mean, it's not I want you. It's you me. to get the good representation. You, you deserve. deserve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Phantom 101 529 saying, for, uh, I don't know if it's just the visuals, but even without hearing any of the music, it feels very much like a true love story between Harley and Joker. Yeah, do, what do you think? We didn't really talk about that too much. <coughs> what do you think the love story element of this is going to be? It does very much seem like they are finding each other, right? The last line of the trailer mm -hmm. is something like, I'm not alone anymore, right? Right, right. And uh, I, it's, I think it's going to be about, because the one thing the first movie did so well is to show how broken people you know, fall through the cracks, right? Yeah. And and how we leave them behind. Uh, and so if, if this is good, this is probably gonna be a movie about two broken people finding each other. Yeah. And mm, and helping yeah. each other out and 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 lifting each other up, maybe mm. not positive ways, sure. but, <laughs> with some uh, yeah. faces being bashed in. But uh, I think it'll be a, a way of yeah uh, of them finding each other, um, finding a, maybe a new purpose, a new reason in life, but mm -hmm. in their own twisted Joker. Harley way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it's interesting. In like, in like recent Harley media, right? Mm -hmm. Like the HBO Max show and, um, you know, the James Gunn, the Suicide Squad yeah. and kind of the, all the Margot Robbie stuff. And even in the comics right now, like the idea seems to be is like, let's do Harley stuff without the Joker. Right. She's her yeah. own character. Yeah. Uh, she's you know, more she's than more just a, his she's sidekick. She's a little yeah. more of a hero and yeah. stuff. Um, which I think is really cool. I think it's great because yeah. she was, you know, a sidekick or a, you know, mm -hmm. girlfriend character to begin with. And like, it's great to see her on her own and with other yeah. teams and stuff like that. But I mean, I think because they do, they, they are doing that, we have not gotten a Joker Harley movie. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and we have not had a Joker Harley story in a while in, you know, DC media. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's neat. I mean, you don't want it to like, be toxic, right? Like you don't want it to be, right. and you know, and they're murderers and they're killing everyone. So like it'll, yeah. you know, <laughs> it'll be its own kind of toxic. It'll be, yeah, yeah. But not with each other, maybe. Or as yeah. Much. yeah. So you know, it'll be interesting <laughs> to see if if they are gonna try and do a version that's like, and it seems like maybe that's kind of what they're doing with yeah. making her a patient. Is like let's have these people be more equals as opposed to like, you know, a. You like know, her being his lackey or yeah, her needing exactly. him. Because, yeah, sure. and like you were saying, like in the comments and where we are now, she's like, she's grown past him, you know, yeah. trying to mm -hmm. now become agency on, of her own and, you know, she's become her own character. But here, it's 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 a little bit different of a take. It's not the same origin. And it's giving them an opportunity to find each other for the first time. Yeah. yeah that's true. So I think yeah. it could be done really neat and has isn't something we've seen in a while. So yeah. it could, yeah. be, could be great. Yeah, yeah. That's a great point. Um, I like this comment. Uh, JDJVCE says, We found love in a hopeless place and crazy in love. Got to be part of the song. Lineup. Oh, what do, you, do you guys have any like songs you think would be like really fun for this or anything spring to mind? I know it's a hard oh question. Gosh, it's a, yeah. a huge lexicon of songs. Out I was going to say, uh, any songs of uh, Joker smiles? I do, yeah. like, I do like that it seems like they're leaning a little more like classic show tunes. Like, yeah, that's kind of like fun. And yeah. It seems like there's a lot of little musical references in the trailer that maybe I don't know. 
know because I'm not a super musical person. Mm -hmm. Where's Brandon Barrick today? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where's, where's Brandon Barrick? This, 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 this is his we beat. Found, <laughs> we found love in hopeless plays and crazy in love. Crazy in love. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are good those ones. Are good. Those are really good, good ones. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, 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 I would be cool if they kept it classic. You know. Yeah. I think, yeah. So. I think yeah. that's kind of neat and goes with the thing. So yeah. As yeah, as much as you want to hear, you know, like cooler needle drops or something like. <laughs> I do. I, I do like it if they keep it more. Or hear Lady Gaga's version of WAP or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking like they could do yeah. anything. That's the thing. It doesn't, <laughs> they even, do anything. It doesn't yeah. even have to be like crazy, you know, songs that have to do with crazy or Joker or yeah. love. It could just be anything, mm -hmm. you know. Um, they could do Semi Charm Kind of Life. I don't oh my know. They God. Could do, That's they awesome. Could do all, <laughs> they could do Truly Madly Deeply. There you go. All these right. old, uh, well, old uh, songs. Yeah, that'd <laughs> yeah be sure. Great. Some, do some, they did uh, any of those. Some great 90s alternative rock. Yes, wow. yes. Yeah. That'd be great. I do think it's important uh, for that to uh like keep things um like of the time right yeah it does feel like I they're like very conscious of that which is a good point i hadn't really quite quite yeah, I just, uh, that until you said that quick side tangent uh shutter island right yeah isn't is uh spoiler alert for shutter island if you haven't seen that take your take the yeah, headphones take out now out yeah, haven't seen yeah. shutter island <clears throat> uh big twist at the end is that uh uh, it's not real, right? Yeah. He, and everybody's done on it. And is it, is it Mark Ruffles' his therapist? Oh, because I was that's thinking, right, what if? Right. I mean, I I don't think they're gonna do the exact same story, but what if this is Harley is pretending to be a patient as a way to connect with him? That's, and that's right. trying yeah. to. Yeah, and then, should we try and, and guess the? Yeah, twist? I mean, I didn't yeah, I didn't yeah. mean to do no, that no, right no, now. No, I just yeah. thought of it, but um, and you know, and I had the notion too when I was watching it of like. What if Harley's in his head? Because you know, I think there was that's, an element. Oh you know, yeah, like, yeah. You know, yeah, that's is, is actually really. He's, that would be cool too. Yeah, or so. is he in her head? You know, is oh, oh did, yeah. did uh, here here okay here's here's the hot one I just concocted right now. Yeah. He died in the first movie in that final credit oh, scene yeah. where you yes. see the orderlies chasing him around. Yeah. yeah, and she's a fan and she's manifesting him. Dude, this is all. I the, think that's it. Jordan cracked the movie. I did it. <laughs> you yeah. don't need to see it. You don't yeah, have to see it. Yeah, we yeah. saved you guys all the time. <laughs> yeah, or or in a true uh, Todd Phillips Joker fashion, they do all these things. These and are all yeah, every, every all one true. of these is told, yeah. and now we get to pick our favorite ending. Yeah, yeah. That's it's, like, it's like the end of American. Fiction. And this is all happening in Jared Leto's head. What? Confirmed. <laughs> and, and, and we live in a society. We live in a yeah. society. <laughs> uh, 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 Snyder versus back. Confirmed. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, restore the Snyderverse, please. <laughs> yeah, bring it back. Yeah. What are we watching this I'm, shit for? <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Uh, and Zelda pointing out uh, in the chat, the song in the trailer is Tom Jones and Sammy Davis Jr.'s What the World Needs Now. Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh, that's awesome. awesome. We were wondering that. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. thinking those Burt Bacharach from uh, Austin Powers. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, maybe maybe they'll do a little bit of this. I know Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett did a lot together. That's true. Oh, that's they right. did a lot of those great that's old right. show tunes. Yeah, so yeah. maybe uh, yeah. maybe there'll be a little Tony Bennett uh, needle drop. Cool. Oh, somewhere. yeah, that could be fun. Um, yeah, Kobe, I was looking through the questions right now. Kobe Wan Kenobi did say a few things related to like the kind of like alternate, like yeah. the twist that we're oh, pitching. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think it, it does seem like it, it's uh, definitely a possibility. Um, and then I wanted to end on this question. Assassin P77 asking, do you think we might get an ending similar to Joker 1 that is left to a bit of self-interpretation mm. or do we get some more sinister ending uh, or really anything different? Feels like maybe, you know, it's nice to keep stuff like this open, right? Yeah. Nice yeah. not to close the book too hard on anything, just to leave it open-ended, self-interpret, you know, that way anyone can pick up the character right. at any yeah, time, yeah. but in this And you can kind of take world. what you want from it, but what I, I would argue yeah. that it was both sinister and open-ended. Yeah, the last one. When it sure. ended yeah. open-ended, it's like, oh, God, what did we just watch? Yes, like, what yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah. And it kind of felt eerie and weird, and so I think they could easily do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it could... Yeah, I don't know. What do you think, Jordan? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think so. And, and you know, I, I do kind of remember in some of the marketing for the original Joker, there was a lot of like, this is it. We're not doing a franchise. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. And, <laughs> but, but that was like, opening unless, weekend. Yeah, unless it does I'm a billion dollars. Yeah, 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 exactly. But I, so, I swear, we didn't plan that. So, yeah, know. and I think, you know, <laughs> and, and who is ever really dead in comic book stuff? Yeah, but, gosh. Yeah, yeah I, I do think, I think they would be silly to, to, close this one and I think it might end in way. its own like sick happy way with them you know what I mean yeah. with, with yeah. Harley and, and uh, Joker being like together but it's like yeah, bad, but it's good for them. Yeah, like, like maybe bad for everyone. They think thing. they've conquered the world, but they're actually like now in some other like 
cell or something. It's right. Like or maybe it'll end like The Graduate where them like oh, they're yes. happy, yeah. but then it'll end with them being like, what do we do now? Or yeah, what's, just what's sitting, the point sure. of all this? Yeah, exactly. just sitting with their thoughts yeah. or something like that. Or she, you know, Harley, uh, Harley looks out the window and sees Poison Ivy and it's like, hey, <laughs> oh, <laughs> who's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. she seems nice. She, uh, I want to be her oh, friend. Oh, she's old plants. Cool. Yeah, exactly. I love <laughs> what's plants. that about? <laughs> love oh, plants. that'd be great. Yeah, I would love to see. Yeah, any, that'd be dope. if we, if you guys, I guess last thing here, if you guys did see and want to see any other interpretation of a DC character in this mm. in this world. Oh, that's a good, yeah, who yeah. fits? I mean, you know, it, <laughs> it would be funny just to see the wackiest, dumbest DC yeah. character in this, like, <laughs> Zeke the Living Sponge, <laughs> or Condiment King. Or, uh, yeah, exactly, or like oh, Cl Clockmaster, or, uh, or oh, yeah. Kite Man. Kite yeah. Man would be great oh, to be see a good one. Kite Man. Man would be a good one. Actually. Gosh, that's yeah. an Easter egg. Keep your eyes out, see if there's someone yeah, right. in the kite. Someone with a kite. Someone in the kite. Oh, gosh. That would be fun. I think yeah. it'd be, it would, I would love it if it were a little, like, a little bit more organic than, like, well, the show Gotham, which was great, they felt like they shoehorned so many people in just to have them, like, Edward Nigma happens to be working here, and sure. Zaz yeah, does yeah. this and everyone was just there so to have it be someone in the background maybe in the Arkham yeah. or or have it be like a guy selling kites on the side of the road oh, something that God. if yeah, you don't yeah. know it doesn't matter it, yeah but yeah. if you see it yeah. it's cool and you can interpret your own thing but but again yeah because they're I think because they, uh, Joaquin and Todd Phillips are like, this is not a franchise. Yeah, this is, sure. We don't want to tie into anything. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to purposely not do any of that. Yeah, nothing too It'd be over, fun. Yeah, right? nothing too over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Catwoman would be great, though. It'd be great to see a Catwoman oh, somehow. Catwoman would be great. Yeah. 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 That would be great. Uh, Halle Berry, maybe. <laughs> Come back one more time. Give her, give her, give her, give her a chance. Yeah. We're lucky. Yeah. yeah. God forbid. Yes. Yeah. yes. God willing. God, God willing. willing. Uh, leave a comment, let us know what you think of the trailer and who you want to see in uh, show up in this film, uh, if they were to. Uh, that's it for us today. Make sure to subscribe to the Breakroom channel on YouTube and give us a follow on Twitch where we do videos like these or like this live. Uh, do you guys have anything you want to plug before we wrap up here? Uh, no, you can follow me on Tom on the Mic on all the socials. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, uh, I'll do my, I'll do, I'll do two. I'll do my requisite and then I'll do a fun one. Nice. Uh, I have a graphic novel coming out this summer. It's called Youth Group. It is a Sick. YA horror comedy about teenage exorcists. Uh, art by Ooh. the great Bowen McGurdy. You can pre-order this now. Bit.ly slash Youth Group book. Uh, check out all the cool art. Uh, you can get all your pre-order links there. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, wherever you get a book. And if you're in the LA area, uh, I will be signing comics. Not Youth Group, because it's not out yet, but other comics I've done. Uh, I will be signing comics at Golden Apple Comics uh, this Sunday, Ooh. noon to two. Whoa. Uh, nice. And that's part of a big signing event they have with a bunch of other cool creators. Uh, who do we got? We got Elliot Kalin. We got Casey Gilley. We got uh, Amy Chase. A lot of cool people there signing a lot of cool books. Uh, so come out to Golden Apple Comics, 12 to 2, this Sunday. And then you nice. go right across the street and get a Pink's hot dog. You can yeah. get a Pink's if you want take, to. Take a picture <laughs> of that big Spider-Man outside. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Get your you picture with the Golden yeah, Apple Spider-Man. Exactly. Hey, an exactly. L.A. legend on par with exactly. Angeline. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps more. Though. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, a, and it's a Tobey Maguire one, too. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.